has reappointed that the big grades. If a university has one of the biggest grades in Nigeria, as a point of at the gate, did not he disappear? It has remained the regret of my life that I didn't ask him for his identity. But I was able to locate Ife and went in to preach. Let's see the book of the book of Hebrew chapter. 1 verse 14. Well, what does it say? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? I don't know whether you know what he had just read. This Bible says every child of God who is a born again child of God has an angel assigned to him. That was this day. Jesus appeared in my bedroom and said to me, Woman, I have brought you Holy Communion. You have been traveling long and hard. We have not been partaking of Holy Communion. My angels will serve you Holy Communion. And I went to my wife and said, Madam, hey, stop sleeping. The master is here. Ask him to open your eyes that you may see what I have seen. Sometimes it's not good to marry an intelligent girl. You know what she asked me? She asked, did you ask him to open your eyes when he opened your eyes? I said, no. She said, leave me alone. Madam, she said, leave me alone. You don't take communion. I take communion every month in our church. You are always on the road. I had communion that night with he who is the maker of heaven and earth. Right where you are, the greatest news I have for you today is that God has assigned an angel to you. Go so rise up and say to four persons, God has assigned an angel to me. Can we turn to the book of Second Corinthians chapter 20 verse 22. Have you seen it? And they, and they rose early in the morning. And they rose early in the morning. Went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. Yes. And as they went forth, as they went forth, Joshua stood and said, yes. Hear me, O Judah. Hear me, O Judah. And ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. And ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. So shall ye be established. So shall ye be established. Believe his prophets. Believe his prophets. So shall he prosper. So shall he prosper. Second Chronicle 2020. Go on. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord. Now the question is, why did he appoint musicians, singers, in the face of an armed army? Yes, sir. Unto the Lord, and I should praise the beauty of holiness. And they should praise the beauty of his holiness. As they went out, now as they went out before the army, and to say, Before the army, praise the Lord for yes. his mercy endured forever. 
when they began to sing and to praise when they began to sing and to praise the lord set ambushment against the children of ammon Moab. What, what 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 happened here the bible said this god of the priests he dwells in the praise of his people i was ministering at the um what what they call this church where my friend was the president uh, in Oweri. We went from sun to sun, four square. We went from sun to sun. And I began to cry as I sang. Every time I mix my tears with my song, the unbelievable things will happen. You know, as I sang and cried, the power of God came down. Everyone who was in that service fell under the anointing and slept off except their pastor. The pastor asked me, won't they die? The pastors asked me not to go but to stay with him in case they die. Why was he thinking of death? That's what Satan can do. You know, when we dedicated uh, the, the International Center here in New York, as soon as I said to the crowd, hey, on that good anointing, I can cause all of you to sleep here, people began to run away. Why were they running? Because they thought some could sleep and die. It is something that injects that, that impression. Now, if every one of us has an angel attached to him, can you imagine how many angels are here in this hall this night? When, when the arm robbers threatened me and said, Oh my, you disgrace our pastor, we're coming to your house to retaliate. Why was I not afraid? Because I knew I would not be standing alone. When I said to them, please come quickly, that we may end the business of the night and go to bed to sleep, they said to me, hey, we are not bringing pastors. We are bringing arm robbers. Or God. That's not enough to frighten me. Because I know who I am. And right where you're sitting tonight, if you are born again, you are not sitting alone. You have to be conscious of this grand noble fact that you will not stand alone. Here in the Korekwene, I'm robbers knocked on the door, a door of believers, and they began to sing songs unto God. And they and robbers became blind. They couldn't locate the door of that house. And they were going up and down, feeling that door. And they were caught red-handed. We are not ordinary people. This night, I want you to ask God to bless you with the consciousness of this grand noble fact. And that as a child of God, born again, child of God, that this God will assign an angel to fight your battles and to show the world who you are. When the armed robbers got to my gate, my gate became mobile. Angels there activated this mobility. And they asked me, what do we do? Well, number one, I said to them, you thought I had no father. Now my father sits at the gate to receive you. Therefore, surrender all your guns to me. There is nothing as powerful as you. Be God fighting your battles and making your enemies to bow to you. How come? How many of you like to have that experience? 
that's a hard problem, let me see. Now, you should, you should not be happy that you are a child of God. When men threaten you, don't be afraid. My wife is here as my witness. Last year, native doctors in Madrid, they said I had destroyed the, the efficacy of their juju. And therefore, they were going to kill me, which was okay by me. My driver began to cry. He said, is this how I die? He said, is this how I would die? Can we run and drive back to you? Shut up your mouth. The commander does not run away from the war front. But there are many people here tonight who don't know this companion God sends to us. In the battles of life, you will not fight alone. My friend said, Amen. Well, only our God can do that. When I said to the man that killed my father, you will die nine times without dying. He said, oh, ma, you are a rat. I said, yes, sir. but this is one rat that Jesus assigned an angel to him. My mother heard it and began to cry. My grandmother said to me, you want to break my heart. How could you have put your hand in the mouth of a lion? Ma, who is the lion? This man? He's not a native doctor. She said, but she's the most powerful native doctor in our village. And let power meet with power. The lesser power shall bow to the greater power. And suddenly the man collapsed. As we were planning to bury him, he woke up and said, they asked me to name everyone I have killed. They asked him, what's your problem? He said, this small boy, his juju was not made on earth. I don't know where he got the juju he had. <laughs> and I said, I said to them, for once, this man is correct. My power was not made here on earth. Can we, can we see the book of... John's Gospel, chapter 1, let's see verse 12. Oh, Madam, bring her to Bible, bring her to Bible, bring her to notebook. Don't look at me like you're a mumu. Yes, sir. But as many as received the Bible, him, I, I don't know whether you have noticed what this Bible says here. The Bible is writing with the thought of an and a hint of conclusion and a measure of authority. The Bible says, as many as have received it, no doubt, no questioning, as many. Can someone repeat after me and say, as many as have received it? He shall give them what? Power. No, he will give me power. How many of you have that power knowing you are a child of God? Wow. The man named those he had killed and suddenly collapsed again. The, his age mate came and asked me to give account of what was happening. And I said, uh, I only pray. My relationship with God will determine the result of my prayer. I am not an ordinary person. I don't know whether you know that was a time I know our chief usher is from that village. I was asked to destroy the entire juju in a given community in my, in my clan. And when I arrived, no, before I went, this pretty girl, my wife, said to me, if you come back alive, tomorrow I'll go with you. But you remind me. <laughs> my mother asked me, why would you let me die first? before you allow them to slaughter you in their village. Ma, nobody will slaughter me. The army behind me, they are more than what to have in that village. My mother said, do you know you're a bad man? 
Only a madman can declare war against that community. They are feared. Man, only the ignorant fear them. Those who know what I know, what do I know? That if I receive Christ, he will give me power to be his child. What does that mean? There is what to call political power. But there's what to call heavenly power. Right where you are. In fact, the Bible goes on to say, when you raise the song unto God, wow, he will dwell in the midst of your praise. Okay, read on, sir. At the side, what happened? Verse 20. And when Verse, they began to sing and, and to when they began to sing and, and to praise, praise the, this the, God, the Lord set ambushment against and wait, the, oh, that another big grammar. God sent ambushment. How many of us know the meaning of ambushment? Anybody here? If you do, raise up your hand. Let me see. Wow, ignorance is uh, God will punish ignorance. You don't know what it means. All those who know, raise up your hand, let me see. God sent ambushment. What does that mean, sir? Read on. Against the children of Ammon. Against the children of Ammon. Moab and Mansi. Moab and Mansi. Which were come against Judah. That were come against Judah. And they were smitten. The Bible has used a very powerful word there. They were what? Say it well. My friend, if you don't say it well, I will not let you go tonight. Say it well. I don't know if you know that God can repeat that miracle any day. <laughs> this is what God can do for his own. All those who know that they are his own, can you raise up your hand? and declare and decree and say, I am not an ordinary person. This God can fight for me. Can you imagine what I was going through with my 11 Amraba visitors? They began to cry. They do, man, what is this? Hey, when did I become your daddy? Because you saw God at work. I, I said to them, you thought I had no father, but now my father sits at the gate to receive you. When your enemy shall come suddenly upon you, your father will be at that gate to receive them. We are not ordinary people. We are dangerous to all enemies. No. Can we rush to the book of, we shall come back to this place, but let's rush to the book of Mark, I mean, Acts, chapter 12. Let's take verse 5. Wow. No, no, please, if you are sleeping, wake up. I want to bless you with revelation and knowledge of what God can do. Yes, sir. Acts 12 from 5. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. But prayer Peter was, was kept in prison, that is, he was locked up. But prayer was made without season. Prayer was made without season. Of the church unto God for him. Yeah, by the church. And when Herod I don't know whether you know we have power in our prayer. And our, and our prayer can command God to come down to our situation. And wipe away our tears. Read on, sir. When Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains. Peter had two soldiers guarding him and watching him to make sure he did not escape. Read on, sir. Bound with two chains. They were, he, he was bound with two chains. And the keepers before the door kept the prison. Yes. And behold, and behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him. 
Can you raise your hand and call that name the angel of the Lord? Shall fight my battle in the day of my trouble. No, say the amen like you ate good food. Yes, sir. And a light shined in the prison. And and there was light in that prison. Yes, sir. And he smote Peter on the side. That is the angels smote Peter, touched him and said, God, 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 stop sleeping. And raised him up. And raised him up. Say, and they said to him, Arise up quickly. Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. Wait to. They didn't use hammer to break the chain. God. Is that God you are God? They shout hallelujah two times. Every time I travel to Togo, at the Bene Republic, Go, um, friends, I will hear somebody say to me, oh, God, come. A voice asked me to take care of your documents. I don't know who you are, but I am ready to obey that voice. And they'll take my document from you, me, and process. When they bring it back to me, they'll say, we, uh, we don't know who you are, but who are you? You are not a, an ordinary normal person. <laughs> I have an angel that speaks for me. He must have spoken to all of you. Let's not worry about it. All is well. How many of you are happy to hear that God has assigned an angel to you? Are you sure? Would that increase your boldness? Read on, sir. And the angel said unto him, The angel said unto Peter, Give thyself, huh? and bind up thy sandals. That is where your shoes. And so he did. He did. He said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. Say, wear your dress, and follow me. And he went out. And he went and out. Followed him. And followed him. Wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel. Huh? And wist not, and did not know that it was true, which was done by the angel, <laughs> but thought he saw a vision. I said, I told you how an angel escorted me to Ife University gate. Ignorance is a terrible thing. I could have asked him, oh God, what's your name? No. What's your name on the market day? The day that the Lord shall reveal himself to you, may you have the boldness to ask him every question. Read on, sir. When they were past the first and the second world, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. Wait to I like that ground. They didn't talk to this gate. This gate recognized them and opened on his own. Can somebody who is happy shout hallelujah? And you are watching to remember and me mo yo mami kwe and you are watching to Jehovah Ami moyo, ami kwe. Ami moyo, mami moyo, mami moyo, mami kwe. And you will attend to Jehovah. Ami moyo, ami kwe. And you will attend to Jehovah. Ami moyo, mami kwe. And you will attend to Jehovah. Ami moyo, ami kwe. I 
to a television program in America. And they asked me Nigerians and Americans who are better Christians. And I said, of course, the cop belongs to us. We Nigerians, we are wonderful people. I didn't know I had offended the president of my college. On my return, he said, oh man, you were there insulting us. I have just canceled your scholarship. Go and call your Nigerian brothers to come and pay your school fees. 
I broke down and began to cry. Father, I am stranded. Help me. Father, don't abandon me. Father, wipe away my tears. Suddenly, two men I do not know, and up till now I don't know who they were, appeared. And I said to my president, President, we are here because of this small boy. We have been sent by God to make sure he did not suffer humiliation on account of lack of money. We used to give him $5,000 who have come with $200,000. Did I cry? Of course I wept. And they say we have even more than that. We have a box filled with money. The amazing thing was those who were mocking me began to hug me. I said to them, you don't hug an African preacher. He may backslide. They said, no, not you. You will not backslide. And I want to hug you. I want to announce you are next in line to have such miracles. I became a hero overnight. Small boy became a big man. Read on, sir. And when they went out and passed on through one street and fought with the angel, departed from him. Huh? And when they went out and passed through the through one street and fought with the angel, departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel. And, and the had, Lord had sent his angel. And he had delivered Come, me. come, in your day of trouble, this God that preached will send his angel. And he had delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. But when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary. Go on. The mother of John, whose son name was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, the as he knocked at the door of the gate, the dancer came to Hacker, named, yes. named Rhoda. And when she saw Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking. When they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he beckoned unto them with a hand. He told with a hand, He is to hold their feet. Declined on, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went to another place. Do I have anybody who is happy tonight? <laughs> to hear what you are hearing. That in the battle of your life, you are not alone. No, say they mean well now. Can you imagine me receiving a phone call from 14 men, 11 armed robbers? I said to them, can you please come quickly so that we can finish the business of the night and go to bed? They said, we are not past also. Yeah, you are. They said, we are armed robbers. Uh, my father had a neighbor who was an arm robber. He didn't stop us from having good breakfast in the morning. Please come quickly. It is my prayer for you that in your day of prayer, you will not be afraid of your enemies. Men and brethren, we serve an awesome God. When they got to my gates, they were paralyzed. Because the gate became mobile. 
They went and called uh, who? Eh? Ben of Pyong. He called me and said, Let you, man, please don't let them die. What does that mean? That means I became the commander of that situation. <laughs> The man they were coming to kill became the ruler of that situation. This God I preach will never abandon you in your day of trouble. Can somebody say thank you, Jesus? Go on. No, let's go back to Second Chronicles. Let's go back. We take the let's go on to verse 22 of chapter 20. When they began to seek and to praise God, when they began to seek and to praise God, the Lord sent ambushments. The Lord sent ambushments against the children of Ammon, against the children of Ammon, Moab and Mansia, which will come against which will come against Judah, and they will split. Can somebody say, and they were written? No, say it like the happy. <laughs> when the native doctors in my village came close to where I stood on top of the car, they said they saw what happened. So just as they were doing. I was not so just as I was not but this God configured it. They saw what did not exist. Your hour of pride. This God shall also fight for you. We are not what we tell somebody by your side. We are not ordinary people. No, stand up and say it to two people. We are not ordinary people. I was in Texas and people called me and said the way you answered your question today they would not like it and we're coming to deal with you. I broke down and began to cry. Father, my enemies are already here and they're coming to deal with me. I had heard some my feelings from with you. Do you know, I suddenly saw angels form a circle and surround me. This was not in a dream, this was life. Time and again, I have spoken stupidly and stuck my legs in my mouth and couldn't walk again. But God was there. I want you to know <coughs> this great God is your father. No, say them and well. Man. Read on, sir. Go on. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Sith, utterly to slay and destroy them. When they had made an end of the inhabitants of Sith, Everyone came to destroy God. That is, they fought themselves. God just created small conflicts. <laughs> That's who you are. My uncle used to say to me, all the born again people are all idiots. And I said to him, uncle, uh, the man you call an idiot is a very intelligent man. Only you have already broken him enough. My mother said, speak up on the edge. I will kill you in your sleep. Mama, you are too pretty to kill your person. <laughs> right there you are, guys. In the battles of your life, you will not fight alone. 
And when God steps in to fight with you, his own help will be should your help. How many of you believe they will not miss the help of God? Let go. If you believe in this chapter, I know you are one. Read on, sir. What happened again? And when Judah came toward the watchtower of the windmills, they yes. looked unto the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies falling to the earth. They were killed as they fought themselves, and none escaped. I like that line. In the day God will show you his power, no enemy of yours shall escape. Jesus said, "The Yamambi, I'm a man, man, this song I hear. I can't any being a king. I'm a man, man, this song I hear. Hallelujah." Jesus said, "The Yamambi, I'm a man, man, this song I hear. I can't any being a king."
many of you believe that angels must have been part of this our dance? There are 12 people who are led by faith. Even when they sleep, they are afraid of their enemies. Well, uh, the enemies are already powerless, and those enemies cannot do you anything. I'm going to pray for those 12 persons, and the power of God shall deliver them from that fear. And in every battle they will fight, and the God them conquerors. Wow. Have we come to the end of the second chronicle? Eh? Because Jesus set up an ambushment and they began to kill one another. I don't know what God will do to do your own day of test. This God will fight for you. He will tell your enemies that they are superior to them. This God is awesome. How many of you are here and the fear in your heart bothers you? And you want God to set you free from that fear? Can I have you raise up your hand? There are 12 of you. No, raise your hand, well. raise your hand, well. stand up, we want to come and no, no, no. Why give us two people that will stand by them and will make sure they are not hurt? Why give us two people? All those who want to be free from fear, fear of the unknown, fear of your enemies. Fear of the unimaginable. A man that fears cannot win battles. Okay, you have a big girl, there are no boys. The boys are a minority. All the work guys you are to keep your eyes open and watch the move of God. I want you to gain your freedom this night. I want you to know that in your hour of need, the God that preached shall not abandon you. There is an angel assigned to you, and that angel will not abandon you. He will fight your battles for you. Father, you spoke to me about 12 people, and what you said has been confirmed and affirmed. There are now 12 people standing up, and they are waiting for you to set them free from the spirit of fear. Father, they can't win any battle in that type of fear. But I know you can set them free. Therefore, move from person to person. And let the limitation be removed. Let the bondage be removed. Whatever the enemy has done to intimidate them, take it away. Father, we are more than conquerors. You have said in every battle we we'll fight, we shall be more than conquerors. Therefore, let the miracle start this night. Father, on my right hand side, on my left hand side, whoever is saying to you, Father, set me free from fear, let heaven honor that prayer. Let heaven honor that prayer. Father, 
If an uncle has placed this demonic gear over them, tonight it shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. The enemy says they will never live long. That they will die prematurely. And tonight I declare they will live long. Every limitation has been confronted by the army of God. They will live long. You will live long. You will live long. You have many more years to serve this great God. And you will serve him in victory. Father, let your anointing be released to every one of them. And let the yoke be broken. Let it 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 be broken. Down power of God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody help. See the girl in the white dress. Help her. Huh? Number five. Remain in seven. Father, there are seven more. Any name holding those seven. Any man holding those seven. Any, any. Demon holding the service shall hold them no more. 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 By the anointing of God upon each one of them. In every battle of the fight, there will be more than conquerors. Whether on my right hand side or my left hand side, let your power be released to your people. Let them be set free. The fear of your known is a demonic fear. Every attempt by the enemy to blindfold them will no longer work. Father, even when they fight ten times, they will win ten times. And let this angel who is their companion take up this battle and fight for them. Yahweh, <speaking in Hebrew> Eh Yahweh, 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 Yahweh,
Part of our dance, let your anointing rest upon him or her. Beginning tonight, no man born of a woman shall intimidate any one of us again. Father, every stone thrown at us by our enemies shall now become our own stepping stone to greatness. Every time we shall raise a song, angels must appear. And they will be part of our struggle. Tonight, all those who are struggling in their walk with you, may they be set free. May they overcome the battles they are fighting. May they become more than conquerors. Father, no one within the reach of my voice shall lose any battle in this lifetime. Father, bless your people and prosper them. Introduce them to their enemies. Let their enemies know who they are. That they have a companion. That they have an angel attached to them. And let the angel fight their every battle. Father, whoever has sinned against you, forgive him. Whoever has cried out to you, Father, help him. Whatever is lacking in the house of any one of us this night, let heaven supply that need. Father, none shall be like a defeated person. Let your people arise and shine like 10,000 stars. 
When next we shall meet our enemies, let our enemies know who we are. Father, as we go home tonight, let the glory of heaven shine upon us. Father, we shall not borrow money from anybody. We shall not owe any man. Rather, we shall have surplus supplies of money. Father, every sick man that has a day in the life of anyone here is now healed. Any door the enemy has closed against any of your children, that door is now open. Whatever your people shall lay their hand to do, shall prosper. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Father, make difficult things easy for your children. As we go tonight, put a song in the heart of your people. And as they say, let the angel have pointed unto them, accompany them. And let the angel lead their souls and fight for your people. I declare everyone here more than victorious. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.